are bringing art into shared spaces throughout Singapore. The Singapore Art Museum has launched the Everyday Museum with this very goal in mind. Now, this time, traveling Chinese opera kickstarts the whole mission. The Wayang spaceship is currently abuzz at the Tanjong Pagar District Park, and there are plans to bring it to the other sites. With lots of lights, camera, and computer action, the Wayang spaceship tells the story of a scholar warrior avatar who journeys through time. So let's find out more from Ming Wong, the, the artist behind the Wayang spaceship, and Shabir Hussein Mustafa, he's senior curator at the Singapore Art Museum. Gentlemen, welcome, and thank you for joining me this evening. Ming Wong, let's start off with you. How does the Wayang spaceship achieve this idea of time travel, and and how did you come up with this idea? Well, it's a common saying that you know they say that uh, traditional practices like uh, Chinese wayang is is dying, is a dying art, and uh, the younger generations don't know about uh, our legacy, cultural legacy. But uh, I'm using art to try and reimagine uh, uh, an alternative future where actually um, the opposite is happening. That actually. Uh, the investment in our in our heritage is uh, is actually rich, and I've designed a kind of uh, Chinese wayang from the future that comes back in time and has and has landed on our shores uh, with a message uh, from the future. It's a, it's a way of um, reaffirming that uh, there's a persistence in our cultural identity uh, against all odds. And, and Ming Wong, what kind of effort did it take to actually, you know, sort of bring this idea, to bring it to life, as it were, something that is a is a very sort of a typical uh, Singapore concept and, and, and emblematic of, of Singapore arts and culture? Well, for the generations who do remember what the Chinese Wayang used to be like, you could hear it from miles away. The, the sound is loud. You know, it's it's bright and colorful. Uh, it's uh, it's a lot of uh, stories from uh, from um, Chinese mythology. It's it's loud. It's, it's colorful. Um, and in order to recreate this um, experience uh, with a view of the future, um, it's it's a kind of symphony of new images and light and sound that I have uh, imagined uh, together in collaboration with um, a filmmaker and uh, sound artists, as well as uh, uh, another artist who works with light. And together we kind of collectively tried to work out what it would be like to have a uh, Chinese wayang from the future. It is a mix of uh, the traditional, but as well as looking at uh, forms of science fiction from the past. So uh, what you do see is uh, is a kind of strange collage of uh, Chinese opera cinema from the golden age uh, during the 50s and 60s, together with science fiction films from the same era. And with the mixing of these two genres of the time, it allows us to have an alternative future of uh, what could have been uh, in order to uh, give us an idea of what uh, an alternative future for us could be. Well, growing up, I certainly remember seeing and hearing uh, these wonderful images of, of the Wayang in certain neighborhoods. Uh, Mustafa, give us your thoughts on, on this Wayang spaceship. Uh, it sounds so otherworldly. How does it fit into, into what the Everyday Museum wants to achieve? Um, just as uh, as Ming has shared, I mean, uh, one of the aims of the Everyday Museum, which is also the Singapore Art Museum's uh, most recent uh, and large-scale public art initiative, the aim is really to kind of transform um, every space uh, in Singapore into a kind of a cultural space, right, where um, art uh, is not only something that is experienced, uh, but also those that encounter the art uh, are having uh, fantastic social interactions uh, around them. And so in, 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 in many ways, uh, the Wayang spaceship uh, embodies this uh, commitment uh, that, uh, that Sam, as we affectionately call Singapore Art Museum, um, has made 
to supporting uh, artistic development and production uh, in Singapore and, and, and beyond. And so in this way, um, you know, the, the, the idea here is that um, each day when the museum closes at 7 p.m., uh, the Wayang spaceship uh, awakens uh, as, a, as a sound, light, uh, and film installation. And uh, we're hoping uh, that our publics uh, hang around for a little longer uh, after the museum closes uh, to experience uh, this phenomenon. And it is an experience. I mean, the Singapore Art Museum has, has, has long made efforts to, to make art more accessible. Uh, so what you're sharing there is very interesting uh, in terms of, of what you're doing now. But what about some of your plans uh, for what's ahead for the, this everyday museum, Mustafa? Um, perhaps I can just uh, just reflect on this question uh, by talking about the Wayang spaceship, because just like any uh, Wayang stage of the past, uh, it can be dismantled and moved uh, to a different location. And this is really uh, our intention, that uh, the Wayang spaceship uh, will move to different parts of Singapore, and each time it lands in a new uh, area or neighborhood, uh, it's going to create a whole new range uh, of questions and, and interactions. And um, just kind of uh, staying with this, uh, the Everyday Museum will also launch uh, a dedicated website, uh, and the Wang spaceship, of course, uh, will be featured uh, quite prominently in it. And within the website, uh, working very closely uh, with Ming Wong, uh, we're going to explore uh, the history of uh, Chinese opera cinema uh, and its uh, unlikely uh, relationship with science fiction uh, in Asia. And they, really, that's how uh, the two phrases, Wayang uh, and spaceship, uh, come, come together. The Wayang spaceship coming to a neighborhood close to some of our viewers, no doubt. Thank you both for sharing that uh, with me this evening. That was Ming Wong, the artist behind the Wayang spaceship, and Shabir Hussein Mustafa from the Singapore Art Museum. Thank you, both of you.